Hey guys, Joshua Bain Tech. And for this video, I want to show you some modules with Gravity Box. This is an exposed framework module. So you'll definitely have to have exposed framework installed. And I'll have a link in the description of what, how you can do that and also how you can install Gravity Box. We'll go through all these settings and then we'll also see what they look like. And one of the neat things about Gravity Box is that they pretty much become active right away without having to reboot the phone unless otherwise notified. Okay, so let's, uh, let's try the status bar quick setting tiles. Activating the status bar quick setting tiles, that's going to give you a lot more options for your tiles that you see here. As you can see that there's a lot more than what you normally would see. And, especially, and normally you would not see gravity box or long press to record and you know things like that. So now when you have gravity box installed, it automatically installs these. So you might want to uninstall these and all you have to do is just uncheck it. So let's go through these. I'm going to uncheck gravity box go through a few other ones take off these guys smart radio turn that off and that should do it so as I said with gravity box it should be automatically updated without a reboot and as you can see those options that I deselected are now are no longer there so let's go check out some more stuff Tile reordering, so this is a, an option to where if you want, let's say, location towards the top instead, um, you can change that around. So you can just kind of go through all these here and just kind of customize it the way that you want. And location is up there, so there you go. Tiles per row, that's going to be for a quick setting tiles to be displayed. So let's say, let's go to five. After going to five, you're going to see that it shrinks it up into smaller tiles. So if you like smaller tiles, this is an option that you might like. But I think I actually like the bigger ones a little bit more. Tile label style. This is actually pretty neat. You can do normal, all caps, or hidden. So it just kind of depends on the style that you like. And if you do hidden, you're just going to get the icon. I think I like the all caps because it kind of keeps that Kit Kat little style. Let's go through some other ones here. Now this is a neat one. You know, normally I like sound and vibrate together and things like that. So I definitely like that option checked off. The quick pull down I really like and I like to put off to the right hand side because rather than having to drag down with two fingers with that gesture or with the one and then having to select it, all you have to do now is use one finger and pull down from the right hand side. So I really like that option there. And you got quick pull down size so you can change that if you want to. So that was just that one tab and that's for a status bar tweak. So we're going to quickly go through a few others. I'm not going to go through each setting but I'll select it so you can see what it looks like. Enable connect state or enable data activity. You can change the colors on the status bar. Notification drawer style. And you can do a default background color fill or a custom image. That's pretty neat. You can expand all the notifications instead of just seeing a, a shortcut or just a brief preview of it. Battery settings. Let's see. Battery indicator style. Stock battery. Circle battery. I like circle battery with percentage. Battery percent text. I'd rather turn that off. Clock settings. Let's try circle clock and as you can see it automatically puts it in the middle. You can show the day of the week if you want to. I don't really like that. You can hide the AM, PM or hide the clock altogether. I like to hide the alarm clock because if I have it activated I just know that it's already activated. That's just the way I, I am with my alarm. Data traffic monitor. Now this is definitely good if you are on a tier data plan. You're going to want to see the kind of traffic that you got going on or if you just want to see speeds and things like that. I don't really particularly like that. Ongoing notification blocker. I do like this because uh, you can turn off like the Wi-Fi here if you want to. Enable brightness control. Adjust the brightness by sliding over status bar. And that's actually pretty neat here because in case you don't want to go through the whole process of going to select it, it's already there for you. Enable double tap to sleep. So that's actually a pretty neat option um, if you just want to tap the screen to make it go to sleep. 
pie controls. Pie controls are pretty neat. Um, I'm not going to go into it too much. That's going to be for a separate video. But basically, pie controls is do a swipe up action, and it kind of gives you a bunch of shortcuts that you can customize. Power tweaks. This is actually really neat. I like this option a lot. Advanced power reboot menu. And what this does is gives you a few different options. You can do screenshot, screen record, and it also gives you more reboot options for if you want to do a soft reboot, recovery, or bootloader. And here are some notifications that you can uncheck or check if you want to. Battery charge sounds. Some people like it. Some people don't. Same with the charger plugged in. Disable LED flash or charging LED. Now with the Moto X, you don't really get an LED, so you don't really have to worry about with that. With this phone, you have brightness settings, allow all rotations, unplug turns the screen on, holo background, solid but black background, phone tweaks, full screen color photo, that's a pretty neat option. Enable unknown color photo, smart radio, and national data roaming. Navigation keys, and this is going to be your keys down here. We have screen recording options here, video size, you could change the to full 1080p if you want to. You can rotate the picture and use the microphone. And let's see what miscellaneous tweaks has the offer. Clear all recent tasks, top right. You can change that around if you want to. Disable full keyboard or torch off, force overflow menu button. So this has pretty much just been a general overview of what you can do with Gravity Box. We specifically went into status bar tweaks and kind of changed up some things there. So Gravity Box definitely allows you to change a lot of different stuff on your phone and let you customize the way you want it to work. All right, guys, if you thought that this video was helpful to you, please give it a nice thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, so you can see more videos like this.